Hi. Yep, tell everybody hi. Hi. Max is up here changing stand pops and dummy plugs and so Ford. We say we go get this cab over started. You want to? Yeah. We're almost done here. We can go do it. Yeah, we can finish it in a little bit. Uh, we're going to need a battery and a jump box. Yeah, I think uh, the jump box is in Peter. We might not need a battery. It might uh, do it on its own. If it needs a battery, and tighten it on there, it'll just stick the cable. Yep. Sorry, guys. We're just now posting a video. Uh, I've been down feeling pretty weak I don't know I guess I'm coming down with a cold or something right, we got her in here to go in let's go see if this old thing will start up we have to put the cab down nah we can start the cab up Yep, we got a lot of taters in there. Can we go and get the battery box? Yeah, grab it. Mm -hmm. Tell Travis has been driving it, huh? You got it? All right, well, Brax has been over this thing and over it and over it and over it. He's done decided what stacks he wants on it and what are you going to do with the paint. And got two different stacks I want to put on it. What have you decided? I like, I like the, I like straight and I like the one. The miter cut ones or the, the bull holler ones? The bull holler ones are the ones that come out to the side and then the miter cut ones are, or like well see what's on the peak yeah that's the them are like slot uh the, the ones that are like the feet or like, like you want the straight ones with the flaps oh okay i wonder if we could put on the side one like the peak and put a flap on it mm, they got the, like the backwards flaps you can put on it Too. No yeah, it's definitely gonna be straight pop. It's gonna be loud, but we don't care, do we? Yeah, because we're putting train horns. Oh, well, we're putting train horns on it. Uh, we're gonna definitely put air ride on it. We're gonna run it like this for a while. Um, Tom he really wants to turn it into a dump truck, but uh. But he said we're gonna haul boats with it, so boats and taters. Hey, how am I almost to reach the key? Um Well we've gotta put that uh let's see. Yeah, we need one cylinder. We're gonna go ahead and replace them both. One of them is out. Uh I think Bruce may have had an accident with it or something. I don't know what happened, but it's slightly incapacitated at the moment actually in a lot of damage yeah a lot of damage <laughs> but we can go ahead and fire it up it ain't gonna hurt it 
Um, I want to check the oil. Yeah, you might want to check the oil. Where's the oil? Uh, it's probably going to be on the back side because it's cab over. Um, right here, son. Like right in our place. Just loosen that up. Yep, yank it out of there. Pull it out. Pull. You got it unscrewed enough. It's long. It's cab over. Yep, it looks like it's about a gallon low. Nah, it might not be. It should be alright. It's Detroit. As long as it leaks when it starts up, we know it's got oil in it. Uh, we still got to put the boot on it. Um, I think Bruce got started with that. But anyway, yeah, so we're going to finish the frame. Uh, we were, we're really wanting to put air right on it, but he wants to pull a boat next month with it. And uh, he wants to pull beans this year, so that's the only time he can really drive in the fields and stuff. He can drive back and forth from the field to the barn or to the silos um i don't really like him to be on the road a whole lot so you ain't gonna get stuck with them big mutters on it so uh we're gonna just do uh let it ride like this for a while that way you can enjoy it this summer and and do some hauling itself uh we're definitely going to go through the motor, put some new hoses on it, uh, airlines. I'm going to yank that turbo off of it. I've got a, a 68 millimeter over there. I'll bill it. Internals, I'm going to stick on it. Um, probably going to stick some injectors in it. We might not do that right away. Um, like to get the truck out and drive it see how it's going to go see how he does with it and then, then we drive to Bruce and show. uh yeah he's wanting bruce to come i guess when he gets it ready to drive he wants bruce to come down and drive it with him for the first time so uh yeah i believe it's got fuel in it now the track is so hot so i'm pretty sure him and bruce become pretty good buddies so i'm pretty sure he'll come down and and take a trip with him let Bruce drive it and see if Braxton can handle it. He drives that Peterbilt like it's nothing, so I'm sure this cab over ain't going to be no problem for him. I'm going to put a new air compressor on it. Like I said, new lines, new air compressor, yeah, service it. Uh, I'm going to put the turbo on it. Uh, injectors. That'll probably be this year's stuff with it. And this winter, we'll probably pull it down do air ride he's wanting to put that other cab over back together and put a detroit in it so we'll probably take that frame put the other one back together and uh put air ride on this one he want to paint it i'll we'll probably paint it back to like it is or he says green but i don't know about that i want to paint it like the dollars like, like green bean yes a little race truck well, that's the same car as Bruce's flatbed, too. You seen Bruce's flat, nasty truck? Yeah. It's the same it. color, yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, I think we'll get Bruce back down here in a few weeks and let him and Braxton take his thing down the road. And we'll hook a bean wagon to it, dump trailer, and uh, oh, beans. let Braxton haul some beans. What is this for? You guys are going to flip when you see how good this boy can drive a truck. Eight years old. That kind of blows my mind, too. I wanted to drive him at his age, so I'm not going to tell him no. Is these uh, socks look new? No, the shocks look okay, but I mean, the they'll be alright. Alright, let me set this camera up. That way they can watch us get her running. I like, I like the wheels. The wheels and rims and 
the Go back to Brandon. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. He's got a lot of good parts and he done a lot of work to it. The camera. Back for take two. <laughs> it usually don't take much start in old Detroit, so let's see. Now I just seen this thing start at Bruce's, so that was on YouTube. You gotta believe everything you see on YouTube. So I'm gonna hope and pray that the rack ain't stuck. It don't go crazy on us. If it does, I guess that means it's getting a new Detroit in it. So if it don't, then everything already go smooth and should sound good. It will make a good video if it is hung open though. I'm pretty sure of it. Alright, Rex. Um grab it for a second. Let me crawl up in there. How much is she from one of these? Hmm? That's your splitter? It's an old style transmission. Look, it's got an ether switch on it. What's That's that? That's cool. I'm already here. Did I break it? Never. Make sure that's out. It looks like we could put. There's a jet break at. Yeah, it's got jakes on it. If it does start and it has jakes on it, try it. Uh, they ain't hooked up. We gotta hook them up. Is there a horn? It's not in bad shape, is it? We're gonna have to do a little interior work, but not a whole lot. We got bolts now. Hold on, let me go back here. That's what that was. See what it does. Oh, you're kidding me. All right. Well, it does sound good, don't it? I think it sounds real good. There's the throttle. Oh, I know you know where that throttle is.
That's a good sounding old truck. Smooth. That's actually pretty surprising. I didn't think it'd be that smooth. Hold on, I'll help you out. Smooth, no knocking, hammering. It ain't supposed to have many miles on it. Don't sound like no beach it, does it? No. Well, there she is. The leaves are gone. Yeah, you blowed them out. Why did you get the cap there? Yeah, jack down. I guess the next thing is, is get the get it in the shop and get to work on it. 